Now to a major announcement today for the future of semiconductor development in central and western New York worth billions of dollars. As our Lowell Rose reports, a chip facility near Syracuse would have a far-reaching ripple effect. About a quarter of all chips made in America will be made within a few miles from I-90 from Buffalo all the way to Albany through Rochester, Syracuse, Utica. The $6.1 billion approved by the Department of Commerce will support Micron's vision of investing $100 billion in New York over two decades. The money will go directly towards Micron's building out two semiconductor fabrication plants near Syracuse. We need our chips, as you know. They're invested in everything, from smartphones and cars to AI uh, to the military. So this bill also helps secure America militarily as well as economically. And it's going to bring leading edge memory chip manufacturing back to the U.S. In a statement released at 13 Wham, Micron said in part, as the only U.S. based manufacturer of memory, Micron is uniquely positioned to bring leading edge memory manufacturing to the U.S., strengthening the country's technology leadership and fostering advanced innovation. It's also going to span generations. People's grandchildren will benefit from this investment. Locally, we're already seeing an influence from Micron, like the construction of Edwards Vacuum in Genesee County, which makes critical technology needed for companies like Micron to make semiconductors and computer chips. Monroe Community College is also partnering to train workers in the semiconductor industry. Rochester is going to have all kinds of benefits, and many of the uh, supply chain people who are going to supply uh, Micron are going to be in the Rochester Finger Lakes area. Lowell Rose reporting there. Senator Schumer says he wanted to make sure the commitment was granted before the next presidential administration. He claims no administration can roll back this agreement.